welcome to all you Leos out there. Welcome for your yearly horoscope for the month of 2013. Now, what is going to happen for Leos in general for that year? Um, there's a couple of solar eclipses and there's also uh, something very interesting considering not only the Uranus Pluto uh, square but also Jupiter triggering the, the Uranus Pluto square. So I'm going to talk about Jupiter until Pluto and what it does in, um, uh, in, in the different areas of your life when you uh, have planets in Leo or an ascendant in Leo. Now first of all, um, let's start with Jupiter. Jupiter has been for a while in your 11th house and until the 27th of June of next year, so of 2013, it's still going to be in that 11th house. So um, all that is considered with meaningfulness, with um, expansion, has to do with your 11th house area, still in 2013. What is 11th house? That is really your, uh, could be friendships, so maybe new friendships with younger people, because Jupiter represents often younger people. It could also mean many friendships, many new ones. But it, on another level, it means um, your focus and your aspirations and what you really want in life. Uh, that the meaning that you want to give towards that and working across your goals uh, is really highlighted during more the beginning of the year, the first six months. Now, as um, the, the first of, uh, of July, so the end of June, from July till the end of the year, you, you will have Jupiter in your 12th house. And that is very interesting for you because um, it, uh, Jupiter is a great benefit and it helps to spot your blind spots, basically, because the 12th house has a lot to do with our unconsciousness. Um, it has to, a lot to do with the things that we really, um, we rather like to put the finger on someone else instead of uh, uh, looking at ourselves. But with you, Jupiter there in the 12th house, it shows that you're really going to be able to, um, to, to find new ways and to know yourself way better on a deeper level and on levels, areas of your life that you really didn't know that you had to. So that's good. And um, Pluto Uranus square is still the same as last year. So Pluto is still in your sixth house. And for, for the rest of the year, what does it mean? It means that for a lot of Leos, they, have, they, they are going to make or they have made major shifts when it considers their day-to-day -day work, their, their routines. So um, it could mean that you really changed completely your profession. Uh, it could mean that you really needed to do that in order for you to feel more fulfilled. So whatever job or new job that you're going to uh, uh, to take and to practice, it's going to be way more uh, something that that you are all about. And when you're in a squaring uh, that Pluto and um, Uranus is in your ninth house, it shows that you will get insights on where you want to go, your high visions, your um, your dreams and where you really want to head for. So um, that is still upcoming for, for the rest of, uh, of the year. Now this Pluto Uranus on the background is triggered around May, June, July and especially August because of Jupiter. Jupiter is going to oppose uh, that Pluto in your sixth house and it will be in the twelfth. So it is a huge opportunity for Leos to get rid of their bad habits, to, um, to start all over again and fresh uh, considering your health, considering your physical health, considering also your mental health and um, to find ways to do that, to withdraw yourself and to dig deep, to understand yourself better. And um, so 
when you combine Jupiter and Pluto, you've got nice ingredients if you can, if you can mix them because so Jupiter and Pluto are making a contact, a telephone line, if you like, uh, and Pluto is all about transformation and power, and Jupiter is enlarging that in, in a way. So all of us, um, and for you, particularly in those areas of your life, are going to encounter these opportunities to, um, to grow and to fulfill yourself uh, on a way deeper level and to make changes uh, when it considers maybe for a lot of Leos it will be work, for others it will be their health, for others it will be their mental health, not only the physical health, and for other people it will be spiritual stuff or maybe um, trying to stay very grounded but also having this link, this connection with all that there is because that's your 12th house, that's the house of oneness. So very interesting for Leos and um, at the same time you've got Saturn in your fourth house. So Saturn, the planet of, um, uh, of, of uh, discipline, the planet of, uh, um, of, of working hard is um, in your fourth house, the house of your house, the house of, of your identity, of your deep core. And Saturn in there means again that you are going to work very hard on yourself. It seems that for a lot of Leos they're going to work a lot on their inner levels uh, with that 12th house and that 4th house. Um, now Saturn is very positively uh, sextiling that Pluto in your 6th. So the ingredients of Saturn and Pluto is hard work and powerful. Being powerful through hard work. So. Um, it, it is definitely saying that uh, a lot of Leos will accomplish a lot by working hard, uh, with considering work, but also their own identity and trying to find out who they really are. It could mean um, that at home sometimes they really work hard, or it could mean that they work from home, or it could mean that um, there is, uh, let's say, things that have to be changed around the home. Um, and all of that is supported by Pluto. So the transformations around these areas of your life are supported by Pluto. So that's really good. Now, another planet, Neptune, is at the beginning of Pisces. And um, that is your eighth house. So uh, Neptune is uh, for the whole year in that eighth house. Now that could be, um, the eighth house again is a, a water house, it's a deep house, it's a house of transformation and it's a house of, of, the, of our fears, of our taboos. And it, it, it seems to me that with Neptune there, a lot of that can be dissolved uh, very smoothly. And um, that Neptune is going to work very well with Jupiter as well in your 12th house, that's a trine. So uh, it seems to me that a lot um, from the inside, that uh, Leo is a fixed sign. So when it, it is um, happening something around you, a lot of Leos, they, they work on it on the inside. And uh, with that Jupiter in uh, a water sign and Neptune in a water sign and beautifully trining, it shows that it is nurturing you um, because Jupiter is in exaltation in Cancer and Cancer is a nurturing sign. So it is helping you by uh, every now and then, I know that most Leos, not, not all of them, they love the spotlights, but every now and then it will be also a year of retreat, a year of, um, of uh, finding who you are through things that are very calm, maybe meditation or maybe yoga or maybe just um, you know being in the water probably with all that water um, emphasis houses now what else so that's for the planets now for the eclipses there is um, two solar eclipses and the first one is the 10th of May and that's a solar eclipse a moon and the sun together so a new start for you at 19 degrees of Taurus and that's work area for, um, for you. So 
um, it, it uh, is interesting to know that with, with all that sixth house stuff, um, it is possible for a lot of Leos that something happens around work, around that time. I'm just double checking. Uh, yes, so, um, so it could be April, May, June that something is coming uh, to a new beginning and a new, maybe a new job, who knows. Um, if you are looking for a new job, it's a good time then. Another solar eclipse is happening on the 3rd of, of November in uh, Scorpio. And that is then, again your fourth house on 11 degrees. So mostly people who um, have Leo planets or an ascendant around 11 degrees will sense that. And um, that's a new start in your fourth house, what I talked about, about that working on your house or on your identity with a lot of effort. So it's, it, it doesn't come very easily. Uh, if you are renovating or something, it doesn't come easily, but it's very, um, uh, very effective um, afterwards, the end of the year. So uh, around that time, a new beginning, a new beginning of your identity as well around November, December. So this is it for uh, a general horoscope for Leos. Wish you all the best for 2013 and uh, see you soon. Bye bye.